Oh my god, hey! Welcome back to my theatre-themed YouTube channel. My name is Mickey Joe, and I am obsessed with all things theatre. I am a professional theatre critic, uh, travelling internationally to see lots of great theatre and talking about it here on social media. And you are, I guess, watching part three of my trip to New York 2023 vlog series. Now, the first two parts have covered like our traveling to New York in the middle of an epic rainstorm and seeing a bunch of Broadway and off-Broadway shows. In this part, this is gonna be all about us taking a road trip on one day to go and visit Goodspeed Opera House in Connecticut, a completely different state, to go and see a new musical called The Twelve. So to give you a little bit of context for this, I had been aware of Goodspeed Opera House, but I first became aware of them just over a year ago when they brought a tour group of many of their members to London and asked me to come and speak at a dinner that they were having. Now I was about five minutes old in the theatre industry as a critic and a content creator at this point so I was completely overwhelmed and honoured to be asked and I went along and they were such lovely and warm and wonderful people. They invited me to come over and visit their theatre if I ever made it to the US and then of course we did in March of this year but that trip was such a mad whirlwind, we didn't get the chance to make it over to Connecticut. However, this time I was determined that we would make the trip and it aligned with the musical The Twelve, which they had told me about a year ago when I asked what shows were coming up at the venue. So my stagey fiance, Aaron James, and I mentioned to our friend Ashley, who we were staying with, who is also a theatre content creator on social media, you may know her on TikTok, also on Instagram, other social media platforms, that we wanted to go and see this show, and she was intrigued about it as well, so she offered to drive, and then we basically abducted our friend Kate, who we knew would be up for any kind of crazy theatre adventure. But we weren't expecting this trip to be quite as crazy as it actually ended up being, you will find out why in this video. Also, as a heads up, if you haven't seen the first part, I lost my normal vlogging microphone on day, like, two of this trip, literally on the streets of New York, which is why I'm holding a handheld. There is a little bit of crackling in, like, the first ten minutes of the video, for which I apologise. I didn't know this until I sat down to edit the footage, but I do now have a better audio setup for my vlogging camera. Oh, also, fun fact about Goodspeed Opera House, before I forget to tell you, I like to hide little uh, clues in the background of this video to do with the concept of the video, and I've put Annie and Sandy from Annie over on the sofa over there because the musical Annie had its world premiere at Goodspeed Opera House. That is one of the theatre's many claims to fame. But now let me show you what the venue actually looks like after a little bit of a drive. Okay, we are now on the road in Brooklyn. Woo! We are listening to Diana the Musical. Ashley's wearing a Merrily We Roll Along hat from the flea market. All of which should indicate to you we are very cool people. We are heading to Connecticut. Is it going to take long? Yes. Answer, yes. Oh my god, we're going past an actual school bus. It's just like the Simpsons. Look at this, look at this! Yellow school bus. What a novelty. I appreciate Judy Kay as Queen Elizabeth II singing in the background. I feel like this is for me as a British person. My car snack here is cheesecake from Junior's Cheesecake. It's the devil's food one because I made the genius decision to buy it last night around midnight in Times Square. No regrets about this purchase. I just saw a sign that said Hamilton Avenue. That's a musical. I saw another <laughs> sign that said Brooklyn. That's also a musical. And look at Hamilton Avenue! So many music. Honestly, everything is a musical in New York. Okay, yeah, this is our new challenge. How oh, I many thought. Things can you see throughout? I thought the sign in the tunnel we're about to go into said Wet Broadway. It said Roadway. Oh. It's not Wet Broadway. That's the. I'm seeing the Brooklyn and Manhattan bridges, right? Yes. Yeah. Nailed it. So that's Manhattan over there. Cloudy day. And that tent says Uno. Are they playing Uno? I have such questions. And then moments later, the Brooklyn Bridge. I noticed it being blue. Has it always been blue? Is that new? No. Yeah. 
Before anyone adds me, I just realised that even though I went on a very educational boat tour the other day, I named those bridges the wrong way round. I get, we know I'm not good at geography. I am not Mickey Joe Places. Do not at me in the comments. I'm not Mickey Joe Bridges. Of Madison County? I'm not related to the, yeah, I'm Mickey Joe Bridges of Madison County. Where is Madison County? Are we going there today? Is it in Connecticut? Oh yeah. It's not one of the states we're visiting today. No, you said I saw the welcome sign from Brooklyn. Wrong. No, I definitely didn't say that. This, okay, this is going, this already is going horribly wrong because I didn't know we were on Manhattan. I thought I was looking at Manhattan over there. And I was like, it looks different. Um, no, that's Brooklyn. That's Brooklyn. We're now on Manhattan. We're on the FDR. Oh, because we went through that tunnel. Was that what that was? Did that tunnel have a name? I don't, the Huey something tunnel. We went through the Huey Lewis tunnel and... <laughs> Huey Lewis and the news. We went through the Huey, Dewey and Louie tunnel. From Brooklyn to Manhattan. <laughs> it is really cool seeing buildings high enough that they're like interacting with the clouds. What is the view out of those windows into cloud? Are they just seeing nothing today? Probably. I, I also don't know how science works. More Diana the Musical in the background just across the river there. That's the East River. Yes. Nailing it. Oh, there's a car in the way. Hold on. No, we're going down a thing. Okay, well, there was the Pepsi Cola sign, which I assume is where Pepsi Cola was invented. Wow. Actual tour guide stuff going on here. Which one's the UN? The one that has no windows. That giant white building. building. Oh. Does the UN have no windows? <laughs> That's just, yeah, it's actually. The UN is actually the haunted mansion. <laughs> there it is. There's the Pepsi Cola sign. That's the spot where they invented Pepsi Cola. Definitely that's what happened. Right there. Right there. That's where it happened. And then... Okay, I just missed a sign that said Sky... What was it? Skylar... Skylar what? Skylar Avenue? Skylar Motor? I don't know. There was a Skylar something, as in Hamilton. I'm doing a terrible job of documenting musical theatre references on this road. My only excuse is that a bus tried to kill us and we got lost. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's already going really well. How long is left on the clock? Like 2 hours 54. It's going great. That license plate case just went out. That license plate said Yankees. Like, damn Yankees. That's a musical. That's a musical. Also, oh, it's also a Ford. Like Henry Ford from Ragtime. <laughs> We're great at this. And I've just noticed, oh, so on that sign up there, that says South, like South Pacific. And, and the Sondheim musical, <laughs> The Throgs. <laughs> if you look hard enough, honestly, everything is a musical. Oh, yeah. We've got signs coming up for the George Washington Bridge. Sing it again, Kate. Just me and the GWB. And Asking George G Washington. <laughs> what are you? George Washington is a bridge. Oh, and Lafayette, oh, just keep this camera rolling. Yeah. Lafayette, Lafayette, Lafayette Ave. We found trees. We drove far enough that there are trees now. There we go. Raising. We're not in the city, we're in trees. It's taken us the entire cast album of Down of the Musical to get out of the city. So comment below with what we should listen to next. Now, you're, I'm in the past right now, so that's not actually gonna work. But if we pick your choice, your mind is gonna be blown. For one person, this is about to be amazing. It's happening, you guys, it's happening. We're crossing state lines. Connecticut welcomes us. And this is Connecticut. <laughs> the yeah, weather, nice the weather is the same. <laughs> Aaron James, you've just arrived in your third ever U.S. state. How does it feel? It's my fourth. It's your fourth. I've been. I What's spent, the fourth? I spent two weeks in Florida. Oh yeah. Okay, you've just arrived in my third ever U.S. <laughs> state. What? What? What's your experience of Connecticut so far? It's wet and green. I assume always, yeah, based on a survey of this exact moment, it rains a lot here. <laughs> the license plates say the Constitution State. What's that about, Americans? The Constitution applies here. <laughs> That's where they wrote. In this state only, the Constitution applies. <laughs> so we have to be on our best behavior. <laughs> Bad news out of Ashley's traffic report, which says heavy traffic for the next 40 minutes. 
We are on our way to see a show called The Twelve, but if we get there halfway through, we will only be seeing The Six. <laughs> Which is already on Broadway and we didn't have to travel anywhere. Uh, we'll definitely be there by 8 p.m. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, oh my gosh. Welcome to Harvard. <laughs> did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did what you want, did it, did what you want, did it, did what you want is right in front of you, front of you. By which I mean still two and a half hours away. But that was a fun, that was a fun moment. I'm glad, I'm glad we all got to share that together. I should clarify, we are not near Harvard, that is in Boston. Um, we are, are we near Yale or which is in the, the right state for Yale? We will drive past Yale. We're going to drive past Yale, everyone, and we're now trying to work out if there are any musicals set in Yale rather than just that have been written there. What musicals have been written at Yale? I'm trying to think. There's been a ton, but I can't All think I of All I can think of is a play, but that's not a musical. <laughs> the Yale Drama School is very famous. Yeah. Can anyone identify the musical theatre line from the car in front? <laughs> why, why did I think... Chevrolet, are you there? Which is not it at all. What um, is that? That was, that was Chevrolet Fe. to the tune of Santa Fe. Chevrolet, my best friend. <laughs> it's in the Heights. Who's honking at me from his Chevrolet? <laughs> it's time to be real, you guys. Um, uh, we've hit a lull in, in the road trip energy, I feel. It's, it's... We've been in traffic for a hundred years. It's different. There's been a lot of traffic. It's, I don't remember a time before we were in traffic. Um, <laughs> this is where we live now. This is, this, this is it. This is, it's actually just an immersive traffic musical. That's what we've come to today. I wish to go to I wish We're now listening to Revival Into the Woods. If anyone guessed that, you get points. If anyone guessed Ryan Scott Oliver, <laughs> I don't think you did, but you got points. If anyone guessed Oscar at the Crown, you got points. Well done for going out on a limb. Well done to you. He still wants to go to the festival and dance before the prince. Are there any musicals where people get gas? Um. Hands on a hard body. <laughs> the car doesn't move in hands on a hard body. Oh, the back is open. <laughs> the situation has evolved. Would it help if I told this vlog the gas prices? I normally report on stuff. Normally it's normally it's merch prices, but this this might be relevant. I don't know. Aaron and Kate are thinking about getting food at this gas station. Or well, Kate's having an existential crisis. It's not, I'm not sure. I think I need some of the energy, or else when we get there, I might just get out of the car and just go. Hopefully we're getting dinner when we get there, but that's meant to be at six and our ETA is evolving in a way that is unfortunate. Oh, we'll Do you want any snacks? I think I'm gonna go grab some. Yeah. If you want to, we can. I don't, it's up for every evening though. I'm yeah. fine on the basis we're meant to be having dinner, but in the eventuality we're not, that will be different. I just need like something bubbly. So these are the, these are the gas prices. <laughs> if that's helpful or relevant to anyone. Oh, they just changed. Why did they change? Why are they changing that fast? Wait, is that cash versus credit? Oh, yes. I understand now. I don't drive. We're chatting to Ashley about how this drive is going so far. Spoiler alert, it's not well. How are you feeling? Uh, it's not my favorite drive because I would prefer to always... I'd rather drive like out of the way and just keep moving than like in that stop and start traffic. And everyone is not super happy about it. How long, how long was this meant to take when we embarked? Um, so without traffic, when I checked last night, 2.15. How long have we already been driving? One, two, two, three. No, have it, it's been three hours? I don't, I don't know, has it been three hours? It's 4.30 and we left at 1.30? That's, yeah, that's three, and a, that's three hours. That's so many hours. <laughs> We're still like an hour 45 away. That's less than ideal, I'll be honest. Yeah, that's really not ideal. The world is confusing to me recently because this was meant to be like a fun, cute, like, 
it's interstate travel vlog and it's turned into a stressful will we make it on time challenge video <laughs> and then when I literally went to two countries to see shows back to back it was so comfortable and I was just desperate for there to be some tension as we were just chilling in the airport being like this has just been pretty comfortable the whole day so whatever I plan for with these videos it never happens and and you and I alike will constantly be surprised by the content. So I hope everyone is enjoying themselves. There was not meant to be this much of a car portion of this video, but that's that's what this is now. Hopefully eventually there will be a show as well. Possibly food, who's to say? Okay, not to make anyone too excited, but we are finally approaching ish. We're 15 minutes away, baby. We are 15 Woo! minutes away. Our dinner reservation may have already started, but that is not the point. We can do a millennial pre browse of the menu. I'm going to pull the menu up right now. We can go in with plans and ideas, streamline this nonsense. This is going to be fine. We made it. We made it, you guys. <laughs> Literally five hours later, the content creators have arrived. We're all simultaneously <laughs> filming our arrivals on different devices. I'm not filming anything. I'm done with the <laughs> Ashley's been driving for five hours. Well done, Ashley. Yay. Do not take the five hours as a standard guide. That is very much an irregular traffic day. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I'm here looking obnoxious with a handheld microphone. <laughs> reporting like a local news correspondent. Wow, this looks like Disney World. Oh my gosh. Look at this, there's a lake. I'm hearing crickets. That's the bridge we just drove in over. There's a little plane over there, like a little plane. And look at like these buildings and this architecture. What is this? We're walking over this cute little thing here up to, I think one of these is the restaurant, that one. And I think this is a uh, good speed opera house because it had a big poster on the front advertising the 12. That's the show we're here to see. Wow, this is stunning. Oh my god, hey, it's me again. So after we arrived at the gorgeous Goodspeed Opera House with that drive over the bridge, which I'm pretty sure I did narrate at the time, but I think I was so overwhelmed by A, how long we'd been in the car and B, how stunning the location was that I fully forgot to turn on my microphone. So you just have beautiful views. And now me again here. Once we got to the restaurant, we were greeted by uh, the staff members that I had met a year previously, as well as some other friends who we knew, who worked with the venue. And we had this amazing dinner and I got footage of all of this, but I didn't stop to like vlog and talk about it because we were in a little bit of a rush. We arrived much later than we'd planned to. I think we arrived around about 6.30 or later than 6.30 ahead of an eight o'clock show, which doesn't sound so bad now that I'm saying it back. Maybe it was a little bit later than that. Maybe it was closer to like 6.45. I don't know, but it, it felt like more of a rush at the time. In any case, the venue was fantastic in getting everything ready. We had a gorgeous dinner. We had some amazing drinks. I had a glass of wine. Kate and Aaron had these cool like milkshake sort of thing, but I think there was like a coffee situation going on. I was barely paying attention because I was enjoying a large glass of Sauvignon Blanc, or maybe it was a Chardonnay. I should say as well, the name of this restaurant was the Gelston House Restaurant and Inn, so you can also stay there overnight. Um, it's not the easiest theatre to get to via public transport if you don't drive, but there is a train connection and you could probably get like a taxi after that. I don't know if Uber goes that far out necessarily. I'm looking at the menu right now to tell you specifically what I had. I had the Gelston chicken and it was so good. My gosh, I think it was probably the best dish I had the entire two weeks that we were there. And we had eaten 
uh, somewhere really great a couple of days before we eat at Bond 45, which is an amazing New York restaurant, which was also fantastic. And this may have just been even better. It was beautiful food. It may also have been compounded by the fact I was very happy to see food after so many hours in a car. But we were all thoroughly contented with our meals. And then we got to go and see the theater and we got to go and see the show. So I will show you what the Good Speed Opera House is like. This is the inside of Good Speed. Glorious grand staircase here. We have images from previous productions. We love to see something like this, a theatre that's really attached to its history. Lots of classic musicals here, as well as some stuff looking a little bit more contemporary and modern. And this gorgeous picture of the frontage of the theatre there with that bridge that we crossed on the way in, looking just spectacular. Of course, we have to come and show you Goodspeed's Tony Awards from the American Theatre Wing. The first one in 1980 for Outstanding Contribution to the American Musical and the second in 1995 for Distinguished Achievement in Regional Theatre. Fantastic. Here we have character information about all of the characters depicted in the 12 and also the cast members who are playing them featured here as well. You may recognize Wesley Taylor from various Broadway shows, Kyle Scatliff as well as seen in The Scottsboro Boys in the West End, as seen in Les Miserables on Broadway. And this is the full cast list for this evening's performance of the 12. This is The Company. And then after the 12, Dreamgirls the Musical will be here between November 10th and December 30th. So out back here we have a gift shop, loving this. We have some very cute Good Speed Musicals apparel. We have some prices here for the apparel and for other merchandise as well, as well as candy, all important. Just some other merchandise items here. These very cute hats, it's very American. These mugs, love those. We can see a Good Speed Musicals bag up there some of the 60th anniversary items as well. Some lovely things here at Goodspeed. So there is a souvenir cup and a specialty drink that Aaron has just purchased. What is the name of this drink, Aaron? The Betrayal. It's called The Betrayal. Do you know what's in it? It's, oh, it'll come up there. Oh, there's the running time for the 12. It's Captain Morgan's rum, ginger beer and lime. Lovely. So yes, you'll notice the 12 is 85 minutes with no intermission. We did joke. Oh, there you go. There's The Betrayal. Lovely. Oh, looks very nice. We did joke that this was a very long way for us to drive for an 85 minute show. And in fact, during the drive up here, we could have seen the show anywhere between three and four times, but it's fine because we're here now. And then as we are just about to begin, here we are in the front of the mezzanine. This is our view of the stage. And this is the glorious, very classic, very American auditorium. Just gorgeous with this mezzanine layer that wraps around three sides. And this is our view of the stage. Some subtle fallen cross iconography there, some anachronistic sort of design with the corrugated iron and the graffiti. I'm very excited about this show. This is the view from the stage of the Goodspeed Opera House. Look at this. Look at this. A sea of blue velvet. And then this is close up of the set with the whole Fallen Cross set piece. It feels much smaller to be up here. This is the ghost light because we are post show. Can you see me? Oh, you can. Oh, those headlights are really useful. Just dr actually just drive towards oncoming traffic and then that lighting would be fantastic. Well, that's not them. 
So wait, no, that's the oh, no, lady that's who was talking the, the whole show. The woman who was talking the whole show. Beeper. <laughs> so we are leaving Goodspeed. We are getting ready to drive back to Brooklyn. And we've had a lovely evening. This is a very tranquil end to a theatre going evening in comparison with like a Broadway show, which I feel is much more dramatic. Are you okay? <laughs> I just want everything like, out of people's way. You can throw anything into the back. Feel free to, like, the, the trunk is good. Oh, you can throw things there. Well, I mean, I may walk. Like I was saying, just calm, <laughs> oh, I tranquil, <laughs> peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see the, the back, back of this vlog just like yeah. But like for saying that it's not for saying that it's not that far away from Manhattan, this is such a different theatrical vibe. Would you stop laughing in the back of my video? <laughs> it's a problem. Just like you feel like shimmy 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 please. I can't even where is the do I have to lean do I have to get out of this car for the lighting? Oh it's here. Oh thank you. <laughs> lovely. Yes, we've had a lovely time at good speed. Um, thank you to all of the good speed people. Yes, so much. Um, yes. We've been very well taken care of. We got amazing dinner. We got to see the show. We got to go backstage, by which I mean on stage. We met some of the cast afterwards. Um, yeah, have had a lovely time. Can recommend people making the trip to good speed. Oh my gosh, there's a giant spider in front of me. <laughs> Where? There. <laughs> Outside or inside? Okay, good enough. Inside. Okay, open the this way. is what happens when we go to the theatre <laughs> in the countryside. No, I don't. Can't the now it's just missing. <laughs> I mean, oh, it's there. It's there. It's there. Is it gone? It's on the edge. Go, yeah, go, oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> Nailed it. Can we, we focus on the spider? People are going to think I'm lying. It's this smudge. Yeah. Oh. Oh wow, it's big guy. Yeah, see, terrifying. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was big. So you behind that box. Bye, good speed. You can see it over there. Goodbye, good speed and the twelve. We've had a lovely time. Oh my god, hey, it is me again. I want to clarify at this point, I've just realized I'm wearing the same shirt. It's like a month later. It's happened that this has just gone through a wash cycle and I'm, I'm now wearing it again. You get the idea. Let me tell you a little bit about the 12. So what you've just seen was us seeing the show, us exploring the venue, as well as getting the opportunity to subsequently go backstage and onto the stage, which was really cool. It's always really interesting to see a theater's auditorium from that perspective as well. But if you are at all intrigued, let me tell you a little bit more about the 12. So the 12 conceptually is about the 12 followers of Christ in the immediate period after his crucifixion. Uh, but it's set kind of out of time. Like a lot of kind of more modern productions of Jesus Christ Superstar tend to be aesthetically, everything looks a lot more modern. So it's the disciples, but they're wearing hoodies and jeans and they're carrying acoustic guitars. The show was one act without an intermission and there wasn't that much dialogue. We mostly just moved between different musical numbers for the most part. All of the disciples just stayed on stage the entire time and took turns singing their songs, some being duets, the occasional group number. It sort of swelled to this more positive anthem and then someone else broke through uh, with this kind of damning revelation about what might happen to them all if they were to stand up and really declare their allegiance and what they had believed in. Standouts within the company, Wesley Taylor as Tom was just incredible, a really remarkable performance. I've been following his career for a long time. I got to see him filming the second act of Spongebob the Musical in Plymouth as Plankton, but I'd never seen him before in like a full proper show. He was great in this. So he was playing Tom, AKA uh, Doubting Thomas for all you biblical fans. And so in that period following the crucifixion, he is resentful and skeptical and bitter. And it gives way to a really interesting character that he got right down to the meat of. He sang a really sarcastic and bitter song called Give Up, which was one of my favorite moments of the show. I also thought Rima Webb gave a really moving and profound performance as Mother Mary, the mother of Christ, although they didn't say Christ 
No one said Christ in this show. I, I'm saying Christ. They called him the teacher throughout. So, and their names had been updated, like rather than being Thomas and Matthew and Mark and, and James and James, etc. Let me tell you some of these names they hadn't said. So they had Tom, they had Bart, they had James and Jimmy. Adrienne Walker, who was playing the interpretation of Mary Magdalene, was called Mags instead. She had another very interesting characterization. She was very empowered in the narrative and I appreciated that. F. Michael Haney was giving you vocals as Matt, my goodness. I also really enjoyed Kyle Scatliff's performance. And it was a good score with great performances and a few really compelling moments. Some really well sculpted dramatic pivots. I think I just wanted the whole thing to be a little bit fuller. I honestly would have wanted for this to have been a two-act structure. I wanted us to be able to break out of this one location. We didn't need all 12 people to be on stage the entire time. I get that what they were going for was this kind of like pressure cooker situation where they're all hiding out together and tensions are rising and rising and rising and everyone's uh, sad and distraught and getting angrier and just like bouncing off of each other with their rage and their confusion and their frustration and their sadness. But I actually would have liked for this show to have had more of a book. I wanted for us to be able to explore things beyond what happens within the scope of Jesus Christ Superstar. It felt like it wasn't anything we hadn't already seen in the second act of Jesus Christ Superstar. But conceptually, a really strong show, a really interesting thing to explore. I like that it's clearly biblical, but it's kind of separated from that, and it just talks about faith as a concept rather than a specific Christian thing. I think there's a power in that, and I think that's what makes it really interesting, and we'll speak to, uh, you know, a wider array of people. But those have been my brief thoughts about The Twelve at Goodspeed Opera House. If you are intrigued about the venue, and you absolutely should be, it's remarkable and sort of uniquely beautiful, please go and check it out. In just a few short days, Dreamgirls will be opening there, so if you're at all local to Connecticut or you want to travel from New York, go and check out Dreamgirls at the Goodspeed Opera House. They have recently announced their season for next year. You can head over to their website and check out what shows are going to be performed there. I am particularly intrigued about about the mystery of Edwin Drood. Will I somehow make it back to good speed in 2024? I would very happily if I get the chance. For now, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope that you have enjoyed. This turned out to be a really crazy video in the end, but I hope you had fun watching it. We had fun doing it, even though it was this really long drive. And again, I just want to clarify, it should not take you that long to drive from New York to Connecticut. Maybe if you can, go on a different day or just like leave earlier in the day to make sure you're not gonna hit that traffic. Uh, but even though we were in a car for so long and we didn't get to spend that long at the venue, it was still totally worth it and we had a great time. And we will always, always travel madly across the country, whatever country it is, to see good theatre. Before I finish this video, make sure to comment down below. If you have ever been to Goodspeed Opera House, what did you see there? What was the experience like? I would love to hear more from you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that everyone is staying safe and that you have a stagey day. For ten more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey, thanks for watching, have a stagey day. Subscribe!